Welcome to CNSA Monthly Catch-Up, Episode 2. At UTC time 2.51 July 3rd, Long March 2DY-74 rocket was successfully launched at Taiyuan Launch Center carrying five satellites, Jilin-1 Quanfu 01B Remote Sensing Satellite, Jilin-1 Gaofan 03D High Resolution Satellites and Zingshidaidai-10. The Jilin Quanfu satellite has the ability of imaging 2 million square meter area per day with 0.5 meter resolution. This is China's 20th launch in 2021. At UTC 2328 July 4, Fengyun 3E Terminator Orbit Weather Satellite was successfully launched by Long March 4C rocket at Jiuquan Launch Center, Inner Mongolia. This is China's 21st launch in 2021 the 77th launch of Long March 4C rocket, and 377th launch of the Long March rocket family. As a meteorology satellite, Fengyun 3E's Terminator orbit further fulfills the need for the real-time weather data collection ability to make more accurate weather and climate forecasts. Shenzhou 12 astronauts Nia Haixing and Tang Hongba performed a spacewalk on July 4 to carry and install equipment required for China's space station's long-term operation. Lu Boming opened the hatch of the Tianhe module and was later joined outside by Tang Hongba. The two astronauts operated outside Tianhe roughly 380 kilometers above the Earth's surface in the new generation Feitian extravehicular activity suits. Tang worked along Tianhe's handrails while Lu was hooked to a robotic arm. Tianhe's robotic arm was fitted with foot restraints and an extravehicular working platform installed by the astronauts. Later, they raised a panoramic camera and tested emergency evacuation procedures. Shenzhou 12 mission commander Nia Haixing remained inside Tianhe and assisted his colleagues with the robotic arms. The spacewalk is China's second EVA activity, after Zhai Jigang's 22-minute EVA on the Shenzhou 7 mission in September 2008. At UTC time 1553 July 6, Data Relay Satellite Tianlian-105 was launched to geostationary transfer orbit by Long March 3C rocket at Xichang Launch Center, Sichuan. The satellite, with previously launched Tianlian-10104 and Tianlian-201 forms the global relay satellite system. This is China's 22nd launch in 2021. At UTC time 1159 July 9, Zhongzi Remote Sensing Satellite Group 2 was successfully launched to low Earth orbit by Long March 6 rocket at Taiyuan Launch Center, Shangxi. This is the 379th launch of Long March rocket family, China's 23rd launch in 2021, and fourth launch in a week. On July 12, CNSA's Zhurong Mars rover approached and photographed the vehicle's parachute and back shell, which enabled it land safely on Mars. The 240-kilogram solar-powered Zhurong photographed the discarded objects from a distance of 30 meters. Zhurong landed on Mars on May 14 after three months in orbit preparing for its landing attempt. According to CLEP, the rover had driven 450 meters in Utopia Planitia by July 15. The parachute and backshell are lying around 350 meters south of the rover's landing platform. Hundreds of meters further to the southwest, there's also the heat shield from the landing sequence. In history, NASA's Opportunity rover also imaged its own heat shield back in December 2004. Meanwhile, as the sun sets over Von Karman crater on the lunar far side, China's U-22 rover is anticipated to complete its 32nd lunar day on July 16. Since landing in January 2019, the 140-kilogram solar-powered rover had traveled 738.6 meters by July 2021. China's private space company Deep Blue Aerospace conducted variable thrust static ignition tests of Nebula M rocket prototype with propellants of liquid oxygen and kerosene for 130 seconds. The company's first vertical recovery hopping flight test would then be carried out in August. The hop tests would pave the path for the reusable Nebula 1 launch vehicle to be launched into orbit. The Nebula 1 spacecraft, which has a diameter of 2.25 meters, will be capable of lifting 500 kilograms into a 500 km sun synchronous orbit. A larger Nebula 2 launcher with a diameter of 3.35 meters, 
capable of launching 4,500 kilos into low Earth orbit, is also being developed. As part of the development of a reusable space transportation system, China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation CASC, conducted a covert first test flight of a reusable suborbital vehicle on July 16. The vehicle took off from Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center and landed in Altsa League, Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region, slightly over 800 kilometers away. CASC did not give any footage. The vehicle, according to the CASC statement, employs combined aviation and space technology and has a VTHL profile, which represents vertical takeoff and horizontal landing. The test comes after a test flight of a reusable experimental spacecraft in September 2020. The spacecraft orbited for days, then deorbited and landed horizontally after releasing a small transmitting payload. Though no photographs have surfaced, the spaceship is widely assumed to be a reusable space plane design. The new vehicle, according to CASC, can be utilized as the first stage of a reusable space transportation system. A totally reusable space transportation system could be created by combining two vehicles. The 2017 CASC Space Transportation Roadmap featured a space plane project. Fully reusable launch vehicles were also planned, as well as a nuclear-powered shuttle for roughly 2045. At UTC time 019 July 19, Yaogun 30 Remote Sensing Satellite Group 10 and Tianchi 15 were successfully launched by Long March 2C rocket at Xichang Launch Center, Sichuan. This is the 380th launch of Long March rocket family, China's 24th launch in 2021, and 5th launch in July. Fairing of the rocket was equipped with parachutes and successfully landed in the target area. The test was conducted by China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology and aims to further increase the re-entry accuracy of the fairing. At UTC time 4 on July 29, Tianhui 104 civilian mapping satellite was successfully launched by Long March 2D rocket at Jiuquan Launch Center, Inner Mongolia. This is the 381st launch of Long March rocket family, China's 25th launch in 2021, and 6th launch in July. The first YF-90 engine prototype which potentially will be used for China's moon landing was completed in July. Its counterparts are RS-25 for NASA SLS and RD-120 for Roscosmos. The two 20-ton hydrogen LOX engine will be tested and used to lift the second stage of the heavy rocket Long March 9th rocket, with low-Earth orbit payload of 150 tons in the future. Meanwhile, China's first 9.5-meter diameter fuel tank bottom ring was off the production line, which was also made for Long March 9th rocket. China's private space company Space Glory, or iSpace, conducted a test of the grid fin subsystem of its reusable rocket Hyperbola 2. Space Glory was the first commercial company in China which successfully made the first orbital launch in 2019. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and click the bell for latest CNSA news and updates. Stay tuned and see you next time.